Hey everyone! I'm going to read you an awesome book today called Zula Palooza. It's a book of homographs and it's written by Jean Beretta. Do you guys know what homographs are? I'll show you. Homographs are words that are spelled the same, but they sound different and they have different meanings. So when you look at the words, they look the same, but they sound different and they mean different things. So for example, the word wind. Did you feel that strong gust of wind? And the word wind. That toy doesn't work unless you wind it up. Look, they're spelled exactly the same, but one is wind and one is wind. There's so many awesome homographs in this book that you probably never think of otherwise. One other reason I love this book is because they play all kinds of cool instruments in an awesome concert they give. I hope you love the book Zula Palooza. Zula Palooza, a book of homographs. Have you read about the greatest concert in the animal kingdom? We just saw it. Read my shirt. Zula Palooza. No cages, just stages. Billy the striped bass opened the show wearing a big striped bow tie. He took a gracious bow from the top of his bass fiddle. Carter Pillar was on stage number two. He played a 30 minute solo with a guitar that was so loud and yet so minute. His fingers were numb, but our ears were number. The drummer for the catnip clan was exhausted. Usually that cat lives to rebel, but today he was just a rebel without his claws. Carmen Chameleon's entrance will entrance you. She's the only singer we know who can produce a fresh bowl of produce and blend into it. The Seagull Sisters present their songs high above the stage. Don't be surprised if they drop you a present. Ugh. There will be no official record of the show. The sound engineers forgot to press the record button. The scariest moment was when Sally Mander dressed up like a dove and dove into the audience. Fortunately, she wound up landing on the back of a jellyfish, wound free. They had to console the worried stage crew after the power console blew up. But the light show was amazing. Florence Welk had a fresh coat of polish on her polka dot accordion. As soon as she played it, everyone danced the polka and waved the Polish flag. The crying crocodiles gave tear-stained towels to everyone. We're going to tear ours into pieces and make more crocodiles. Does the Dear Deer Band have the perfect fan club? Yes, they call themselves the Fasolati Doze and spend hours trying to perfect their antlers. The crowd was pretty rowdy at the rabbit's show. 
Fluff Daddy stopped and shouted, Excuse me, there's no excuse for that. Do I have to separate you guys and give you each a separate time out? Hedda Hip Hopper was a prime suspect in today's big scandal. We suspect someone else was doing her singing. Seals and crawfish always close the concert the same way. They wind up their Victrola and blow crawfish out of their wind instruments. If you're hungry, sit up close. So there's no use hanging around. We'll use these tickets and follow the show from town to town. We'll live in our car and get Daddy to drive because nothing beats seeing Zula Palooza live. The end. So, you just heard 25 different homographs. So that's 50 words that mean all different things, even though some of them are spelled exactly the same. Can you think of or search for some different homographs that maybe weren't in the story? Remember, homographs are spelled exactly the same, but they sound different and they have different meanings. If you come up with something, be sure to let me know. Bye, everyone.